Okay, welcome to Information Retrieval Technology. My name is Farhan, and today I will represent our final project. This project has been done by me, Muhammad Salim, Ahmed Hussein, Ahmed Muhammad, and Muhammad Yusuf. All right, the interaction. For this project, we have chosen the topic called Vehicle Repair System. This is an online system where the users can find the solutions of the problems of their vehicles. Not only that, the users can also find the location and the contact numbers of the vehicle repair shops. The literature review. We have totaled 50 articles on this topic and we have collected the articles from online. All right, the works. Basically, today I will show you these five simple tasks how to do the text processing, the indexing, the name bias, the canon, and the support vector machine this PM on the Rapid Minor software. Okay. For the text processing, actually, I already showed the steps how to do a text processing from some specific documents on the Rapid Minor on my previous tutorial. You can watch it and simply try to do, do it by yourself. All right, for the indexing part, first you have to do the text processing from your documents. You have to find the term occurrences, the document occurrences, the term frequency, and the TF ideas. After that, you can do the indexing. It's very simple. Let me show you how. Uh, this is my indexing. For the indexing, first you have to choose the most important words from your text processing and you can choose uh, as much as as much as you want for the uh, indexing so for my project i have selected total 100 important words for my text processing and as you can see i have divided my 100 words into five different classes uh, the first 20 word I have defined it as a VH. All right. The second 20 word, I have defined it as a RP. The third 20 word, I have defined it as a PL. The fourth uh, four 20 words, I have defined it as a SY. And the last 20 words, I have defined it as a SO. For the reason of doing this, division classes because the rapid manner can easily show the output of the different classes for the neighbors the KN and the SPN. Okay. The second column is for the time occurrences which I have collected from my text processing. Uh, the third column is for the document occurrences. The fourth column is for the Term frequency and the fifth column is for the TF ideas. This is all the part from my text processing steps. All right, just copy paste all the things and save it in a Microsoft Excel file. This is the indexing. And for the name bias, the third step, I will show how to do a name bias on a rapid manner. Okay, first open your rapid manner software. Go to the new process. Okay, this is the new process. The first step you have to do, just click this button. Just down below the repositories, just click the arrow button over here and uh, click this option, import Excel sheet. This Excel sheet, you have to upload the indexing which you, you have saved it as an Excel file. Here I got the indexing my indexing as an excel file i just simply click the next for uploading all right it's already uploaded then next all right again next okay here you have to do some stuff for the first column you can rename it okay for here i just rename it as a result okay and the next file for okay i just define it as a bcdfe okay for the First result column, the variable should be as nominal. Okay, here's nominal. The 
next column the variable should be as a numeric the third should also be numeric and the d and the e also should be numeric and for the first column the attribute should be a uh, level the next one should be attribute as well third one is attribute fourth one is attribute fifth one is will be same this four will remain same and you have to make some changes over for the first column okay then click the next button just give a name let's say uh, i give a name as a tutorial tutorial name bias okay mp then finish okay all right go to the design okay as you can see your excel file has already been uploaded in the local repository of the system okay this is my tutorial simply drag it into the main process okay after that you have to search for the x validation x then give a hyphen validation okay this is the x validation drag it over here after that double click from this option then there will be two process on this display the first one is the training training process and the second one is the testing process okay for the training process you have to upload the naive bias option into here so search for the naive bias okay here's the naive bias drag it here and for the testing part first you have to upload the apply model search for the apply model drag it on the first then search for the performance okay ah, this is the performance drag it here at the last of the testing option now connect it connect it uh, watch carefully that i have connected the two options with the apply model okay here's the first one should be connected and then the best the first one should be connected okay okay the lapis correction should be checked in check mode and go to the previous page in the main process connect with your excel sheet the validation and connect, connect the mode the first one the second one and the average third one oh sorry sorry this should be here this should be in second this should be third okay there's no error over here Okay, all the options are yellow, so I can simply run it right now. So here's the result of my name bias. The accuracy over here is 36%. The class position from my individual classes, this is the five class I have defined. First one BA, second one RP, third one BL, fourth one S1 and the SS. All right, class recall. This is 78.7. percent is true for the first class. Second class is for the only 5% is true. For the third class, 65% is true. For the fourth class, 10% is true. And the last one, only 33.8% is true. This is the table view. If you want to see the plot view, just simply click this one. You can see the plot view. Okay. If you want to see some description, the performance vector, you can see the all description over here. If you want to see the simple distribution, just click the simple distribution button and hit the simple distribution. If you want to see the charts, just click the chart and have the charts for individual attributes. This is for the attribute B, this is for the attribute C, this is for the attribute D, last one is for the attribute E. Alright. This is the process how to do a naive bias on the rapid finder. Okay. For the next one is our KNN. KNN is same as like naive bias. Just simply, sorry, simply upload your file, the same file, the same indexing file on your main process. Search for the validation, same process again. Double click it. Okay. Here, you have to make a little change over here. We have this process was for the naive bias. Now we are doing for the KNN. So simply delete this one. All right. And search for the can as you have done for the name bias before. Okay, with a hyphen and then see this is the KNN. Just drag it here. That's all. 
and for the testing part this should be remain same search for the apply model drag it in the first page uh, uh, first row you can search for the performance drag it at the last connect it at the same that you have done for the name bias okay connect the canyon over here as well see then go to the previous page. Yeah, it's already connected. The same process you have to done for the KNN. All right. There's no error, so I can simply run it right now. So for the my KNN, my document is showing that. Sorry, my Excel file is showing that the accuracy accuracy is forty nine percent nine percent, and for the first class is seventy eight point nine percent is true. For the second class is thirty percent is true. For the third class is five percent is true. The fourth class is 25% is true. The fifth class is 59.57.14% is true. If you want to see the plot view, same thing you have to do it again. If you want to see the description, here's the description. Uh, that's all. If you want to see the simple description, you can click the simple description. Alright. This goes for the KNN process. Okay, our last process how to do the support vector machine. It's kind of different for, for uh, from these two up processes. So you just go to the home and search for the new process. All right, you can save it. Okay. Yeah, you have to do a little bit changes over here. For the indexing, you have to make a little change. First, I have deleted the classes uh, for my indexing and the document occurrences. So for the support vector machine you have to select only the term occurrences the term frequency and the tf ideas just save it into a different excel file so here you just go to the rabbit panel again do the same thing upload it from here import excel uh, excel sheet and upload the svm file which you have saved only for the uh, term occurrences, term frequency, and the TFIDF. Load it. All right. Okay. So here there will be only three columns. Rename it. I just rename the first one as a level. Okay. Second one maybe as A. Third one maybe as B. The the, the variable should be in the first real. All, all should be real. Okay. Yeah. The attribute. The first attribute should be level. The second one should remain the same. Attribute and attribute. Okay. Next. Give a name. Just rename as a tutorial. Sorry. Tutorial. S D M. Dash. Okay. Here. It's already uploaded from the main. Database. Drag it here. Okay. Now the same process. Now you can do the same process as you have done for the name bias and KNN. So search for the X validation. X validation. Drag here. Double click it. Training part. Oh, here the training part should be support vector machine. The SVM. Okay, drag it. Here, yeah, the JSON part should be same thing. The apply model uh, and the performance. Where is performance? Here, yeah, the performance. Now connect it. Okay, the first one will be connected with the first mode third mode should be connected with the second mode okay for the SVM this, this is a little different process here okay go to the main process okay connect the mode and run it oh sorry I forgot to connect the second mode okay now run it Okay, the model uh, shows me the total number of support vectors is 99. 
offset is 4.476. All right. This is the sub support vectors of my indexing. Uh, that's all. You can try these steps to do from your own documents and see the results by yourself. Thank you for watching this video.